Profit Center. I'm really excited. We have to go pick up our badges, and I'll see you guys in an hour. Yeah, they're not. I'm just, we're going to get our press badges right now, and I'm looking through the toy book, but check it out. The Good Smile Company display here. Uh, I'm really, oh, they got the Judd. They look good. Wow. Oh, you have that one, right? The, huh? From that video game? Oh, yeah. Next to my Melody. Yeah. That My Melody one looks really good. And I have Elsa, but not Anna. I love how they brought all the Western yeah. media and Android specifically. Yeah. I love these. I have the Sayaka one. Why didn't they bring the Monaco ones? But the Toho ones are Why would you bring Toho and not Monaco? Be serious. <laughs> got um, Max Goof. Yeah, that's really funny. I didn't know there was one. Oh, and Zelda. And, oh, they got and the item. Xenomorph. Yeah. I don't like the I didn't version know there with was the. A Xenomorph. I didn't actually know that either. Guys, look at this. This is from Schleich. Schley. We'll meet them later and find out. Um, <laughs> these are so cool. That's how your parents are trying to like, with a horse too. In the horse camper. <laughs> That's so fun. You guys, look at the Scribble Scrubby Pyramid. Which is your favorite one? You have to find one. There's Unicorn Bird. Oh my God, there's a Sasquatch. I need that one. Tag yourself in the comments. Yeah, which one are you guys? <laughs> oh my god. You, you guys know I love Scribble Scrub. Actually, I don't know if you know that. I have the Mermaid Cat one. That one's awesome. Oh, look, this one's wearing a little suit. I think they must have gotten the employees to do it. That is so cute. This is so sweet. I love how many alligators are on display because it's the best one. There's a dragon there, but he's turned around. Yeah, there's a lot of unicorn blanks. Oh, oh, look at the cape buffalo. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I'm so excited to see Crayola. We have an appointment with them, I think. We'll have to. We also have Crayola back. Here's Cupa. Oh, they actually look good. Yeah, the cute baskets are cute. I'm not a cute basket fan, yeah, personally. But these actually look really good. I think they have pretty good ones. They're much better than Pop Finals, I'll say that. These are cute. I wish they would show the anime stuff. I don't think they have caught on that. That's what people are looking for. Ooh! That is very cute. We got Asha stuff. I'm very excited. I keep calling it Asha. <laughs> well, that is her name, but like, I'm so excited about this movie. She's so pretty. I wish um, some of the dolls were out, but Mattel... Jax, like, oh, well, Jax has this, but a lot of the big companies, all of them really are not coming this year, so. Brett, look at the cute Mickey. It's a 100th anniversary one from Stife. We have Stife stuff at the museum collection. A like roller skating mother. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> look, she has babies now. Oh, my God. They didn't bring the green one that sold out instantly that I just couldn't get. I'm really mad about it. <laughs> oh, my God. And look, we got Barbie movie stuff. We got some, we got some good stuff. Cool. I guess the, oh, there's Lego. Lots of Lego here. Look. Wait, are they like, those are for your dream house, I guess? I'm not even paying. Oh, the Toy of the Year awards were last night. These are the winners. Oh, is that what those mean? I guess so. I guess it's just saying the Barbie franchise won, so let's put a Barbie thing. <laughs> Yeah. I think, did Pokemon win last year? I don't Check remember. it out. There's a Toy Fair exclusive po Pokemon Go Stop. I don't know why I said that so weird. That's cute. Do you get any special award or is that not a thing? You got all kinds uh, of stuff. No, it's not a gym. Oh, is that like hints at what's inside? Were there any that were like, you cannot take the Toy Fair gym. <laughs> That's a Snorlax, I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> oh, I was about to say someone's posing a doll. <laughs> sitting on the floor waiting for Toy Fair to start. Um, we are playing dolls. <laughs> Why are you playing dolls? This is a grown-up event. Sorry. It said toys for grown-ups are Legos, not dolls. <laughs> Check it out. There's a parade of toys. I'm in the parade.
popular. guys Godzilla in the house we're not allowed in yet so we're just doing this look at the tie booth tie are the sponsors of the event so there's like really cute tie stuff everywhere like the silence of the lambs poster over there and you've got like um, there's like Disney ones and then you I love creation of man one that is awesome oh, yeah where's Texas cuddler oh did you see Jurassic Park oh yeah Ranger Texas cuddler <laughs> oh my god get all this action in the shot. This is so awesome. Oh, there's the, um, why am I blinking? Birth of Venus. I was trying to say Aphrodite. I was like, wait, what's it called? Um, rocks. I am so, so excited. We got here early because we're amazing, perfect people. Um, so we, we have to wait. Well, there was an opening ceremony, so uh, <laughs> we're heading in now. We're going straight to uh, Precious Moments. Is that... Can y'all use the Mario Kart stuff at your toy fair booth as Ty? <laughs> um, wow. Oh my god. Dude. Pokemon's here. Wow. The Tamagotchi. Holy wow. This is amazing. Sorry. Alright, well we're, we have our eyes on the prize. Precious moment. It's a little sneak peek at what's to come but we're we've got a we've got a strict schedule to adhere to so we can't stop for much oh my god yeah i have an appointment with them but i don't think it's today i'm so excited look at the dollhouse but no don't spoil it i want to use the pogo stick but i learned that this is the third floor so i don't think we'll be able to i could show them my mad skills this is so wow there's Tomi. So what what does Tomi have? Oh, they have Mario Kart. Okay. Club Mochi Mochi. Oh, I see Banjo. Hey guys, we have arrived at the Precious Moments booth. We came here first. We had 15 minutes before our first appointment and Brett had to see it first. Dean had to see it first. <laughs> <laughs> and um, check these out. So they brought a bunch of the Precious Moments porcelain uh, figures, statues. So gorgeous. And look, look, look. I love the sparkly Disney princesses. Oh, I didn't see the Frozen. Look at the Elsa on there. Oh my God, she's so cute. Oh, the glitter is glittering. <laughs> wow, these are so pretty. Oh, look at Cinderella. She, you gotta put a shoe back on. That's cute, that's so cute. This one we saw at the chapel. I remember that one. And then we've got Merida, Mary Poppins, I think. And oh, now they have the Sesame Street license. Apparently they got that recently. So these rock, obviously Oscar the Grouch. I like how the, they're not in the Precious Moments. <laughs> but these are really, really fantastic. Oh, look, look, look. Friends, and they also got peanuts. And then they, um, the company that has Precious Moments, I guess, has some other things. So they've got Animal Quest and check them out. Oh, I like the Spino. These are great. We've got, they also have these socks, the cozy moments. And this is their new unveiling for Toy Fair. And then 
These are so cute. So we've got the teardrop. Uh, hi, do you have something to say? Yeah, so this is seasonal Halloween. And look, this is a spider and a bat. That's everybody's favorite is the bat. So stinking cute. And they have the special teardrop eyes just like the Precious Moments. Yeah. These is a combination oh of my gosh. holiday right here. Super cute. Oh, hello. And this is our Valentine's. Valentine's. Oh my gosh. So you'll see the difference here for Christmas and then for Valentine's. So you've got the bear. Oh my gosh. Who's the piggy? Is that a piggy? Oh, it's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. We do have a pig. So oh. this, this is the new oh my assortment God. that's coming out for spring. These are so darling. Right. And the turtle. Wait, we need to see the shell on this turtle. And then we have a bush baby. <laughs> oh my so gosh. What we're doing with these bush babies, we're actually, there's seven unique colors and they'll have a golden tag like this okay. that we're literally going to be sending out different places across the country. Okay. So it's a, it's a, so it's like a, okay, got you. The limited that's edition cool. based to, I think we're doing 3,000 of them and that's it. And the chapel is going to be the best place to get them, I bet. <laughs> Yes. We'll get him. Made, yes. Look at this turtle. I love him. I thought he was a monarch butterfly at first. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> These rock. These are super, super. So this is the new set about to come. Yes. And where's the first set? Is that this one? This is the everyday. Okay. Right. These are the ones you normally find. Yes. Oh, the in here they are laid out. Awesome. Do you have anything else you have? Oh, look, look, look. So all of oh. these are, these are cups. Slap bracelets. Yep. Oh my goodness. Oh, the sloth is so precious. These rock. <laughs> Thank you so, so much You're for welcome. showing us around. And that's everything from Precious Moments and subsidiaries? Precious Moments Inc. Precious Moments Inc. I didn't know they had a whole thing going on, so that's pretty so cool. I'm here with IMC Toys, who are showing off the Crybabies merch line for this year. And they have two new lines that they're showing here, which are the Stars line, which are these aliens that are super, super cool. And then the Talents line. The Talents line are... Uh, there's also BFF talents, but those aren't here, so I don't have any information about those. Uh, but those are out in Europe. But check out how cute these are. And they have a new type of outfit, and they can remove the hoods as well. And these rock. Look at the little monsters. So this is the... These ones are not blind package anymore, so you know who you're getting. These are in little vehicles, and these are the jumpy monsters for these ones. And they are blind packaged. And just look how cute these are. I really, really like the outfits on all of these. And then we have a little spaceship set, which, are you kidding? They're so stinking cute. But these are what I had my eye on. These are the little alien friends. So this is packaging for these. These are called monster pets. And look how cute these are. So these have a $4.99 price point. And these are my favorite thing at the booth, actually. These are so stinking cute. And they have some up here as well. These are part of the stars line and they have light up eyes. And then these are the packaging for these ones. So that's like how they're gonna look on the show. We shelves. got our VIP girls hint. I love you. I was so hoping they were here, but they're not here. But there's at least hints of them. I love you. We have a ton of appointments. I'm so sorry. I'm here with the, um, some MGA distributors and they brought some new MGA product that they told us that we could share. Look at this. I had no idea that they were doing Sanrio. These are so amazing. So these are Hello Kitty LOL Surprise. Like, what? <laughs> these are so amazing. And then you've got a ton of OMG and LOL stuff that we knew about already that I've been seeing in stores and they are really, really cool. I actually just bought one of these and two of these. Um, but look at these, these are the stars of the show here. So. These are a new nail line. So I had heard about something coming with Candylicious and Kitty K, but I guess it was this. These are amazing. And look at the artwork. And the doll. Yeah. And then this one, I actually like screamed when I saw her. So who is she? What is her name? Does it say? Oh, is her name Cha Cha Boba maybe? Because that says Kitty K on that one. I don't know her name, but she's amazing. Pinky Pops. This is Pinky Pops. And then this is Kitty K, which we already know her. So we, we are still getting new Kitty K and Candylicious dolls, even though Fierce isn't coming. And look at that. <laughs> Fierce maybe could come if we manifest it. Manifest it. Serious. And then they have a bunch of stuff just to show off that's like new MGA products. Um, are these new? Because I have never seen these before, and that is amazing. Those are so precious. So, so precious. 
gotcha. And um, this is a distributor, just so you know, so they don't really have a lot oh, of that's information. Friends. That's yeah. Paisley. Yeah. Um, and then just stuff we, oh yeah, there's the Halloween. I've been wanting to see this in stores, but I haven't found it yet, um, unfortunately. So those look amazing. I'm really excited about those. And then they have Holiday. Make it mini. Can you do a picture? Like the picture thingy? You press this button and you take a picture. Oh. Okay. While you're recording, yeah. So these are miniverse Christmas theme or just holiday in general. And then like, these are just some of the newer lines. Oh, hello. Are these supposed to be different cultures? Those ones are up. I'm not sure. Are they? I've yeah. never seen that one. Oh, I'm, I'm clearly behind. Yeah. You don't, <laughs> I don't know, know anything. Okay, I'm behind, sorry. Um, and then of course we have some Rambo. Uh, and of course, baby Kaya Hart is here. They were very titillated by my doll of me that Ever After High Loves made for me a couple years ago. Um, I love her. Her hair's getting messy in my bag though. And then here's the holiday display for the miniverse. So I'm very grateful that they let me share their MGA stuff. Also, check out the store displays. We have to take a moment. Yeah. Look at the sparkly skin on this art, by the way. Yeah. That rocks. So we've got Skylar, we've got Jade, we've got Chloe over here. I think that's, can you take a picture of that one? I think that is the new um, yeah. art, but they, they don't know. <laughs> and then we've got a new Kylie art that I'm not familiar with. It's probably just one of the Kylie arts. And then over here. Yeah. Gorgeous. And then over here there's just some stuff. One of the oh. <laughs> so I'm here with 5K LTE and they are distributors for Famosa products. So that's Dr. Preciosi stuff coming to the US, right? Um, and these are already in the warehouses, so they're coming very, very soon. And check these out. So these are Nancy dolls. And funny enough, I actually got a head from one of these from uh, China once and you guys knew what it was and I didn't. So, um, and these are gorgeous. I really like the color schemes. Look at them. And this one. And then on the, and then they've got a lot of baby doll stuff, if that is your thing as well. And then on the other side, there's more. Pretty cool. So that is something to um, get excited about because potentially more Drip Preciosi products could come to the US and it's 5K. We are heading to the Littlest Pet Shop lunch party at booth 2235. Okay. <laughs> What's her name? That's ex Canada Dances Lord's old ex Canada Dances Lord. This is Allie. This is my LPS Sona. See? Look, she has. Oh no, her earring's coming off. Oh no. Hi guys, I'm here with Basic Fun. I just saw the entire product line of the Little Touch Up. I can't tell you anything devastating. <laughs> Y'all are going to be so in disbelief when you see them. It's amazing. And I brought my favorite childhood pet here, and I'm just so excited. So. Hey guys, so Basic Fun says that we get to unveil one special new Littlest Pet Shop for you guys, so no other Littlest Pet Shops other than what they're on their social media are being posted anywhere. I'm so excited, so come on, let's see her. Oh, I get to do Oh my gosh. Okay, ready? Oh my gosh. How cute, the little horns. Oh my gosh. So here is our new precious friend. And what I didn't know about the Basic Fun Little Pet Shops that I just learned is that they're not just reproductions like I thought they were going to be because a lot of the ones I saw on social media look to be reproductions. They're doing like their own Little Pet Shop designs. So we saw new sculpts where there's new like all of its new deco. There's some that are inspired by old ones but it's so so cool. So I don't recognize this sculpt but it might have been a newer one. Like, uh, but this is gorgeous. This is a beautiful pet. Is this a goat? Yeah. Yeah. So cute. Thank you so, so much. This was a huge honor. You don't know this. I say it sometimes, but I started YouTube when I was nine years old because I wanted to be a Littlest Pet Shop YouTuber. Obviously, we didn't go that route, but this is just so special. And this was my mascot. Um, yeah, so sweet. And now she's here. She's a big shot. I got the okay to share the new My Little Pony stuff that's coming out. So as you can see, this is the 40th anniversary line. And this is so cool to see because if you guys remember last year when we went to Dallas Toy Fair, we got to see the prototypes for all of this, except one thing. And if you pay attention, you'll know what it is. Series two of the Softies plushies are coming out. And I was so shocked to see these. I was like, wait, those look different. I don't think those are the ones. And then I saw series two. Look at this. They win because they did medley, the best one. Look at her. And these are so fantastic. I still haven't found the series one ones yet, but I'm so excited. And we've got Firefly, Applejack, and is this Twilight? Can't tell. Yeah, we got Twilight and Moon Dancer. And they all look amazing. And then of course we've got the 40th anniversary lineup, which is available now on Amazon. This is at Target. I've seen this multiple times. And check this out. They're pearly. It's amazing. Just like a lot of the mail orders from the originals. And finally, I can show you this. At Toy Fair, they didn't have these. They just had like a rough picture. Or at Dallas Toy Fair. Ember is here. So this is 
the like basically the chase you want ember and you want spike those are the good ones right and like look at them so you got bubbles who's standing up in the walking pose and gusty aren't these amazing and then of course goes without saying i got to um, unveil these last year which was so amazing um, and we just did the pr review for these so if you haven't seen these they sent me this really beautiful pr kit that you guys can check out that video and these are so mind-blowing and if you're not familiar with my little pony stuff these were a line of ponies that was kind of designed and it was in I don't remember how people found out about it, but it, it basically just never came out and they're like the coolest idea ever. So Basic Fun are the coolest company ever. By the way, Basic Fun made Pinky Cooper, if you didn't know that. They're the Bridge Direct. They're like the best toy company. Um, they brought them back. And this is like unheard of in girls collecting spaces, so it's so, so cool. Like these are glorious, glorious, glorious. And look at Firefly. Are the pound puppies going to be Okay, and then these are pound puppies. So if you guys are fans of 80s My Little Ponies, I would assume you've heard of pound puppies. They're 90s, right? I don't remember. <laughs> um, I wasn't alive. Um, but pound puppies are super, super cute. And they've just barely redesigned these. And I have an original pound puppy and I'm familiar with them. And I love how they look. I think they're very cute. But these are extremely cute. I think the redesign is subtle enough that I think they just look really, really pretty. Um, and they're just so sweet. Pound puppies rock. And look at the baby ones with the little, little silly pants. So darling. Yep. Okay, so those are pound puppies. I'm gonna beg them if I can show you anything else in this booth, so I'll let you know. All right, you guys, so we are here with the Care Bears, and there's a bunch of top secret stuff that is so cool. One of them made me scream, but I can't show you. Well, two of them actually made me scream. There's something amazing coming, like, next year. Or two amazing things, but anyway, I can show you these. These are the little besties, and look at this cute little, like, this rocks. And these are just amazing. And there's so many, look at the little turtle and all the different characters. I really like this line because they can do characters that they're not necessarily doing in the full size or at least they're not doing soon. Like, so cute. I love them. I also think the display they set up for these is amazing. So there's our little besties. Okay, I gotta cut the camera. These we saw for the first time, I believe in Dallas Toy Fair, but I don't know if I was allowed to share them with you, but these are the denim collection here. Just so cute. And then up here, we've got, you know, your classic ones and the glitter bellies, which rock. They are so amazing. I love them, I love them. Okay, we gotta keep the camera up high <laughs> and show you these. Super, uh, this is a new one. I don't know these. Well, actually, I don't know any of these in the front. So this is, Good vibes. Super cool. And these, I, I knew about the glitter and everything, but I didn't know they had these rhinestone noses. And look how nice. These are like really nice little crystals, flat back. I think they're flat back. Yeah, they're really nice, really, really nice. And then we've got these ones as well. And I can show you these. And they don't have the peeling figures on display, but if y'all haven't seen those before, I recommend looking into them. I did a, I did a video, like a random unboxing with them, and they're so much fun and these are amazing doll collectors like i know i know that's why you're here perfect doll sized care bears and yeah hi guys so we're here with spin master and we just finished watching the unicorn academy screening it is so good like i was actually really surprised um i wasn't expecting it to be like amazing and it was genuinely really cool anyway um we have hatchimals here no unicorn academy to show yet but we have the hatchimals new stuff and they're available now. And this playset is so cool. So the idea with these, and I, I'm pretty sure this is all new, I'm not super caught up with Hatchimals, is that they hatch with water. So they pop up out the top of the egg. So as you can see, like the egg is just like the old Hatchimals eggs where they break, but these ones break by rising, which is so cool. And the playset is a little water slide. So you fill this with water, tip it over, and then it will hatch your guys. They'll pop out. How cool is that? So the playset you don't actually need though because there's these little bottles so you can just directly feed whichever egg you get. Where you, oh, I'm not gonna actually hatch this one, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And I've been really interested in Hatchimals because I got a Pixie Rider just on a whim and she rocked. I don't think they do Pixie Riders anymore, but these are so precious. There's a Unicorn, Unicorn Academy sneak. <laughs> oh, and it looks like the playset comes with four of the eggs. So that's cool. And I'm, the eggs are also sold separately. They don't have the retail on here right now, but I will let you guys know if I get it. Pretty cool. Oh, what's the retail for the singles? $1.99 to $4.99. Really? Yes. Okay, that's awesome. So $4.99 if you get one, but you can get them in yeah, packs for multiple. Doubles, that's awesome. Okay. Very, very You guys, cool. these are so cool. I had not heard of these. These are called Bitsy, and they're a virtual, or like not necessarily a virtual pet. I don't even know what to call this, but it's like a pet sim game that is in a little ring box and they're little hologram looking fellows and 
it's hard for the phone to catch them. I know it's really blinky, but they don't look that blinky in person. And like, look how, okay, this is the packaging in stores. That's the try me mode. Like how cool is this? And it even has like game mechanics to it. So this is it saying hello to me. And you can, yes, this is our puppy. And you can actually go through like this little menu here, I think. Yeah, so you can like feed your creature. There's all sorts of things going on here. How cool is this? I had never heard of this before. I clearly missed something because they were at Sweet Sweet apparently. And like, okay, favorite one? Butterfly. It's hard to see because of the, <laughs> it's because of the way they're doing. It's hard to, for a phone cam. Oh, there, that's the butterfly. Lizard, these rock. These are super, super cool. They are $29.99 also. Can see. Oh, and the way they work, I thought they were like um, projected, but they're actually like on the end of those. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough to do this on my Check it out. Style Bay is here and they have this amazing life size setup. Like they have the outfits and look, they're actually separate pieces that come off. Like, are you serious? So if you guys haven't heard about these, I reviewed them but I haven't posted it yet. It's one of the videos coming soon. But these groundbreaking. I think that the doll market, it's pretty easy to do like another fashion doll and making a new concept in there is really difficult because you know, like it's a fashion doll, it's gonna come with clothes, like it's but these are paper doll, like gimmick, but with rooted hair and like full 3D faces. And these are so funky and fun and new. And I just, I love seeing a new idea like this. And this is just such a fun concept. And all of the clothing pieces are like these cling stickers. They're just, these are just so, so cool. I find these so exciting, so, so exciting. And I know everybody's just putting their heads on like articulated bodies, but I just think like these as they are, are just such a cool concept. And I love them. And I can't wait to see more from this brand if it continues, because I think it rocks. These are style bag. And you can see like all around here, this setup is absolutely horrible. I just love this, because these actually are the way that you, these are packaged, like the clothing for the doll. Um, they're packaged on these little hanger things. Oh my God, that outfit is cute. Hey guys, so we are here with Dorables and they are unveiling this whole new lineup behind these adorable little doors. Check this out. Technicolor. <laughs> They're unveiling here for the first time. Thank you. They're unveiling here for the first time. And look at the Cheshire Cat one. These are so precious. And then, do you, do you want to And then down here we have, oh, look at these. So cute. Dorables are so fun and I love all the different characters that they do. Thank you so much. These are the series two of the squish, squishable ones. So I think at the play date they unveiled these um, last, not last year, earlier this year. And they were so much fun. And look at all these new characters. And then up here, you can see, are these parts of these new lines or are they? This is the newest. Okay. Oh, she fell. I was trying to put them back up. <laughs> okay. Look at these. So much fun. I love the little dioramas. That, that's Toulouse. I know his name, I think. Watch me be wrong. From the good dinosaur. Oh, Asha. Oh, there's a whole wish set. Oh, these rock. And then over here, we've got a giant one. Sorry. We've got a giant Mickey one for the platinum anniversary. And then, Brett, Brett. Oh 
my god. I didn't realize that opened. I thought I was breaking it. Hey guys, I was... Get a credit for two. Oh. Isn't this cute? This is cute. I'm adorable. So check these out, you guys. These are Beast Lab, and I mean, they're they're just shark beasts. Like, are you kidding? Look at this one. Do they have a feature? I see like a. Yeah. So this one, okay. let me turn it on. Um, <gasps> you scan your fingerprint on the oh. chamber. Oh. See how it's done? Yeah. She can do. Oh, is it quick? Okay. Demo. Where at? So you can turn it on. It's gonna flash. Scan okay, your. Uh, Oh, they're taking my fingerprints at Moose Toys. Uh, I'm scared. Uh, what are they gonna do? What I've, been oh, wait, wait, I've, I've given it my fingerprint. This is how. This is how take well. Create the beast that'll do it. Oh, these are good guys. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, so then you're up. Oh, the fire beast. Now gonna. Oh, we're add, doing the full uh, process here. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to scan it again. Yep. Oh, you're supposed to press the button. Got it. All right. <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna drop our pentamonium crystal in the skin. Pandemonium crystal. Write that down. You need to know these details. That's just one of the five ingredients <laughs> that I've already uh, You've already put them in. That's so, it. So. And then we're going to turn this dial. You want to turn the heat up? Yeah. Um, right. Would up be green? It's already at red. Okay. <laughs> down, I should say. No, you're right. <laughs> All right. And now we'll just fingers cross this works. Yeah. I'm nervous. I have a master's degree in biology. If I mess this up, you got to take it away. Oh, no. I think... <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. So that's okay. Put the lid on. Oh no! I gotta pull the lever. Oh, thank goodness. He's free! He's free! My shark friend, my beast. You guys know I love a beast. <laughs> I love this one. That's awesome. Free, my beast. This is the beast. Uh, the smoke. Okay. <laughs> Life, and there's that human beast connection. Thanks, you made. Mine, <laughs> <laughs> That is so cool. We've been all ready for battle to help save the world. And Moose Toys is employing mad scientists. I don't know about that, but <laughs> at least these beasts are cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so cute. This is so oh, what's the retail? $79.99. Okay. And these. So this is the refill, it's $9.99, okay. and that comes with the... Okay. the All right, so the Beast Labs retail for $79.99, and they come out tomorrow, but whenever I post this review, that's October 1st. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is $10.99 for the refill, and that lets you do it again. That's it. Yep. You can Another actually, Beast. Yeah, refill that, do the drain and, and this is again. so cute and clever. I love this. This is a really smart idea with the... In terms of the ones I've seen, this is really yeah, cool. Yeah, they just came out. Check like these out. So these are Trolls They're Band so Together cute. minis. They start at two ninety nine. Start at two ninety. They start at two ninety nine for one, like in the blind bag, but then they go up, like depending on how many you get. And check these out; they're so cute. Where's that worm guy? That's all I know about trolls. There's a cute worm guy. Um, <laughs> I don't think it, I, I, I like this guy. Yeah, and there's so many. You just look at them, <laughs> oh, and then you can really find one you, that you like. The hair. So, which ones are the ultra rares? Are they like a specific look? So it's over oh, okay. here. I think you can flip it around to see. Oh, hair rageous. That's your ultra. Oh, and there's like limited. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like most of the rare ones have the hair. That's that seems to be. Oh, you can get Justin Timberlake as a child. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are so cool. Oh, this one fell. Here you go, Pink Troll. I should know her name, right? That's the main character. Poppy. That's Poppy. <laughs> hey guys, look, the mixlings are here. They don't have the two exclusive mixlings, but I've reviewed both of them on my channel, so check it out. Well, winter is coming. Stay tuned. Uh, but look, winter is coming. <laughs> But look, this is the one I don't have yet, and they said I could have her. <laughs> but her hair is so, so soft. She's so awesome. I'll find her soon. Um, I might be wrong, guys. I'm shocked none of you called me stupid, because look, same. Well, it's like really similar colors, so I need to pay more attention. <laughs> so maybe I have found Deerla, and I've just left her behind every time. Um, but how cute are these? And then they also have more magic mixies. We got the genie lamp version this time. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, I'm taking the spoils for, cause I just did this work promoting them. We're almost done with day one of Toy Fair. We're about to head to the meetup that we're having, which is at whatever the Oculus is because Central Park is flooded. <laughs> um, so we're heading down to see Good Smile really quick. We don't have an appointment. They probably wouldn't want to see me, but I just want to see what they got. Um, and we're gonna head out. So this is the end of day one. If I post this as a day one, like separate vlog, I don't know. Um, but then stay tuned because there's gonna be a whole compilation vlog that has like more meat in it so buckle up if that's not this i don't know
Um, so we're heading down to Cinema Hall 1, which we have not been to at all yet, actually. So that's cool. Let's go! Doll meet up, you guys! Look how cute! We've been talking for hours, but like... This is the main part, I think. This is the most important part. So hey guys, you've reached the end of this video where I'm going to talk about some things. So some things that I wasn't allowed to show or that I just, there was nothing to show for it. I'll be talking about also just my experience and stuff. So um, today is Thursday. So it's two days after Toy Fair and I could not record this on Wednesday. I could not speak without coughing violently. Um, it's just because of my throat. I'm not sick. I, I checked. I checked that I wasn't sick. I'm good. Um, but I am so, so excited to share with you guys what went on. And because there was so much at Toy Fair, I cannot put all of this into one video um, normally. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to do each day of Toy Fair is going to get its own video. So that's four videos, potentially three, because days three and, three and four were kind of weird. So probably three videos that you'll be getting each day of this week, you'll be seeing them. And then there's going to be one that's my personal highlights, my favorite things that I saw at Toy Fair. And you're also going to be getting a full one that's like two hours, three hours long, however long it ends up being, with everything that went on. So day one of Toy Fair was a whirlwind because it was my first time ever going to something like this. My friend Dean came to represent Dollect, which is the interactive doll directory that I founded. And Dean was one of the co-founders, so Dean was coming. Unfortunately, Peggy was going to come too, Moon Miss Blue. I've shown her before in video. I've shown her. She's been in other videos before. She came to the playdate with us, but unfortunately, she could not go to do personal obligations, which is totally fine. Um, and then, of course, my husband Brett was there too. So <laughs> getting there was really stressful actually because we had to get up at like basically we left the house around midnight uh so when i filmed that video i think the last one that i filmed was the toy hunt and well the haul specifically uh i wasn't lying when i said i have to go like right now immediately after that video was filmed we got all our stuff we put it in the car and we left uh because our flight was at 6 30 a.m was when it was boarding so we had a three hour drive but it skipped the time zone so four hours elapsed time so we got there at like 4 30 it was a lot uh but then we got to new york and there was catastrophic monsoon flooding I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit but there was like historic flooding all over manhattan especially brooklyn luckily i thought that this was going to be horrible because i hate flying into newark but we were staying in Newark, any, well not Newark, we were staying in Jersey City, so it was really lucky actually that our flight ended up going to Newark because instead of spending the day in the catastrophic flooding, we got to spend the day at the, I keep calling it the American Dream Mall, but I think I'm wrong. No, it is, is it the American Dream? Whatever that mall is, it was awful. I was really excited to go there and film content and see what was going on there. There's like the last actual Toys R Us in America is there, there's all kinds of stuff, but unfortunately... It wasn't good. It was like actually terrible. It was worse than like Toys R Us outlets are. Uh, and the rest of the mall was kind of whatever. There were some cool stores, but either bootleg stuff or just not very interesting, nothing going on. Uh, but it was fun to see the Shrek statue. So it was nice to be able to go there for the day. Okay, so then uh, Dean, we met up with Dean finally, because Dean unfortunately was in one of those airports that was in the flood zone problem area. We just ended up ordering an Uber because the public transit was all broken. And I was supposed to have a meetup. I was having a doll collector picnic was the idea. It's not supposed to be a meetup for all my fans. It was just supposed to be a picnic for doll collectors to hang out uh, in New York, because I know there's a lot of doll collectors in New York that every time I go, I get a bunch of DMs and comments that are like, oh my gosh, I wish I could have seen you. And I'm like, I said I was going to New York, like, just tell me and I'd be happy to meet up. So I decided to host, like, a picnic so that it would be less anxiety-inducing than telling me, like, hey, I want to meet up with you, you know, because I get it. Um, and that was really successful. I'll talk about that later. Um, but that was a problem because we planned it to be in either Bryant Park or Central Park, and now everything's flooded. So um, it ended up getting moved. I'll tell you guys about it when we get there. But first, Toy Fair. So if you don't know what Toy Fair is, New York Toy Fair is an annual, well, it's supposed to be an annual event. <laughs> We'll talk about it. Uh, it's an annual event in which a bunch of toy companies and distributors and toy shop owners, stuff like that, all get together, put themselves in this one building and advertise what they're doing. The idea is that this is mainly for buyers and buyers doesn't mean us. It means like the corporate buyers that put things on Walmart shelves or put things on specialty retailer shelves, you know, so buyers and sellers being the toy companies, inventors, people who make toys, stuff like that, to network and meet each other. Press is also allowed, but it was really limited this year. Like, the the standards to get in were not that high, so I was surprised how little press came. I don't know why that happened. Uh, a lot of people were attributing that to the flooding situation, but in theory, 
Toy Fair starts at like 9 a.m. You would have flown in by then and you would have already been stuck in this flooding. So I don't really know what happened, but there wasn't a lot of press there. Um, and when we first walked in, it was so much. Displays absolutely everywhere. This was my first ever Toy Fair. Um, Ty, I think, were the diamond sponsors, so Beanie Babies. Unfortunately, I never went by and got footage of them, only like a little bit passing by, but they had a really cool booth. But they had these amazing displays everywhere. They recreated a bunch of famous paintings. They recreated a bunch of famous movie posters and also just had a bunch of fun displays for Ty. Um, so that was the main thing that was going on. Also in the lobby, you could see like Toy of the Year winners because Toy of the Year was the night before. I didn't get to go because the ticket prices are absurdly high. And at Dallas Toy Fair, I was able to go because press could get in for free, but at this one you couldn't, which is fine. Um, so the Toy of the Year winners were all out. I didn't even realize that's what we were looking at until later. There was a Hot for Holiday section, which is just things that they think will be popular during the holiday season. And there were other just display cases showing off different products. So that's what the first part of this video was, just showing off stuff that was outside of the event. Also, it seems like the exhibitors could put things out. So one of the first things we actually saw when I came in was a VIP girl, which if you don't know what that is, it's VIP pets from IMC Toys who make the BFF Crybabies dolls and the Crybabies dolls. That's their like fashion doll line that's only in Europe right now and they're amazing. So I was really excited because my first appointment was IMC Toys, but we'll get there. Um, so I was very, very honored to be able to go. I've always dreamed of being able to go to Toy Fair. Sweet Sweet was always the one that I felt was attainable and I was able to go and I'm still so, so grateful to be able to go to an event like that. It's so cool. But Sweet Sweet is just for press, which I love because you still get to meet the companies, but you mainly meet, you know, the PR people at the companies and it's only like larger companies normally. With Toy Fair, everybody's there. I met some CFOs and CEOs of brands that I ob or companies that I absolutely love their brands and things, and I got to talk one on one with them, and it was so funny. Um, this was day four when this happened, or day three when this happened, so you won't hear about it until then. But I was face to face with the CEO of the company, gushing about how much I love the product, and finally I was like, I hope this isn't invasive, but what do you do at the company? I'm just curious if that's okay. And he was like oh, I'm the CEO. <laughs> and I was like gobsmacked because these people are the most down to earth, nice people. And I've noticed that when I talk to hired PR people, you know, people who went to college, got communications degrees to communicate effectively and are being paid specifically to like love on the product and tell me about how much they love it and why I should care and share it with you guys. I find that a lot of times they're like, they don't want to be there at all and they seem very like grumpy and like I'm causing problems for them and not because I'm very rambunctious. I come up very calmly and talk to them and like before I ever film anything I make sure that they're comfortable with it. Um, I promise. <laughs> um, but I don't know like this was so much different because I'm talking to their, their like president of sales at the company and he's the most excited person about toys I've ever met and other than me and it's so so cool so like Bondi one of our days I think it was day two we talked to one of their reps for three hours <laughs> like it was no joke but anyway let's get to what actually happened today so uh oh big disclaimer Mattel MGA Jax and Hasbro the big four toy companies did not go to this event at all I will immediately be talking about some MGA products that I was the one who got to leak them it's not a leak they told me I could post them so I got to reveal them to the world which was really cool um but um, they were a distributor for MGA. So they were advertising that they could distribute MGA products to stores. You get it? Uh, so yeah, they didn't come. That was kind of sad. There was a couple of their products around, like at the Hot for Holiday and stuff, but they weren't, at, and of course at distributor tables, but they weren't actually at the event. Um... Okay, so first stop was Precious Moments, which we were really, really excited because Brett, my husband, and Dean, my friend who was there, really, really loved Precious Moments. Uh, Brett specifically really loves the dolls. Dean just loves Precious Moments in general. So it was really cool to see that they were at Toy Fair. We were all very confused as to why they were going and what they were going to show, but they were there. They had a bunch of really cool stuff. I loved those plushies with the Precious Moments teardrop eyes. Those were so cute. And of course, they had a lot of really cool Precious Moments stuff, and I talked about that in the video. Nothing really that we heard wasn't in the video. Although we did learn that their corporate offices are near that chapel that we went to, which is kind of funny because I was like, huh, I wouldn't think it's in Missouri, but okay. And then the people that we met were super cool and super sweet. And they talked to Dean and Brett for a long time and it was really awesome. We were early for our appointment. Our, our appointment was at 9.30 and the doors opened at nine. Oh, we totally missed the, there's like a opening ceremony parade thing. We caught it when it started and recorded a bit of it. I thought that that was just a random thing. I didn't realize that they were walking to the entrance and you were supposed to go wait over there with them, but we were waiting by the other door. So we got to go in and beeline straight for the booth that we wanted to go to first without all the crowding. So that ended up being nice, but we totally missed the speech and everything. 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, but Precious Moments was really cool. And they told us, oh, hey, the person who sculpted like, the Precious Moments things, like, the master sculptor, is going to be here tomorrow. He was supposed to be here today, but the his, like, flight got delayed because of the situation. And that was cool. So we'll talk about that on day two. But I don't really think I recorded anything for that because that was kind of personal private or no I show I show him a couple times doing his sculpting because it was really cool um but that was awesome so anyway then we move on to our first appointment which was with IMC Toys I arrived there the most excited I think I could have been because I I was like I know VIP Girls is going to be there and it's not just because I'm delusional it's because VIP Girls were all over ads all over the Javits Center so I was like they're going to be here I walk in it's only Crybabies products. I'm not kidding. Only Crybabies. No BFF, nothing else. No VIP pets even. No VIP girls, just Crybabies. I assume that's their bread and butter. They had some really cute new products. You know, I don't like baby dolls. I'm not really into them. But they had some really nice ones that they showed us, all the all the features of them. They had one that crawls. They had one that's just like a nurturing baby toy. And the mini ones were really, really nice, though. The little mini vinyl figures. Those are the ones that I could feasibly see myself at all having in my collection. Uh, and they even had these little monster guys which were so cute and I talked to them a little bit and last I heard about VIP girls VIP girls and I wasn't really allowed to say anything was that they were gonna bring like two of them over here very limited run uh so I was just gonna buy them all from Europe and I haven't done it yet uh but I heard like they didn't tell me directly they didn't confirm anything but they were like oh we're really hoping for VIP VIP girls to come like to the U.S. in a big way this uh this year or uh, in 2024 so stay tuned so I hope that's true. I hope we actually see VIP girls hit shelves in the US because they are really awesome. They are beautiful, beautiful dolls. And if you haven't heard of those, we have a whole article about them or like a whole section about them on Doll Act. So check that out there. I need to talk about Doll Act more. I didn't need, I was talking face to face with the like founder of a company that I love that just started doing dolls and I forgot to mention Doll Act. I just didn't even bring it up because I was just so excited to meet, like talk about the toys. Anyway, okay, the next stop, we, if we didn't have an appointment, we started just going like this to try to hit every single booth. Not necessarily talk to them, but just to see what they had. And that's how I found the MGA stuff that I found. They were all the way in a back corner, literally the back corner, that was them. And I think it was like 80K distribution or something, but they had a bunch of MGA stuff out, mostly stuff that was already out, but I know what I'm looking at. So I immediately saw the new miniverse, which were the holiday ones. I hadn't heard of those. Maybe those weren't a big leak or something because nobody really cared when I posted it. But then I saw those OMG nails dolls and I asked every single agent in that booth and made 100% sure that I could film those. I was like, are you sure? And they're like, yeah, we have an open booth, like whatever. And they were so excited that I had my mini me um, rainbow high doll made by Ever After High Loves. I love that doll so much. I don't bring her out as much anymore because I'm scared of hurting her, but it was Toy Fair. She had to be there. That was my dream, you know? Um, so I brought her and the reps at the MGA distributing booth were so excited. They took so many pictures of me and my doll. Like they thought it was the cutest thing ever. And I told them all about like, oh my gosh, someone made her for me. I love her so much. That was really fun and cute. Um, but anyway, so Rainbow High was all new, but they did have Kai. Well, all new, but not new to us. Like it, it was all old, I guess. Uh, they had Kaya Hart, which was cool. The baby one, junior high. And then they had all the miniverse stuff, including the new thing. They did have a LOL leak that I didn't even post. So you guys saw it in this video, the bubble water balloon hair or something. Somebody asked me if they'd shown those and I was like, I don't think so. And then I was watching it back. I was like, oh, they did. Sorry, I'm not as familiar with LOL. So I just didn't even catch that, which is funny actually, because I was sitting in this booth, like filming all this stuff really excitedly. And some doll collectors walked by and just kind of looked inside and didn't do anything. And I was like, did you guys not notice? Like, oh my god. Um, but that's you gotta have a discerning eye. Um, but I saw the the Hello Kitty LOL stuff. Like, that is so so exciting. I cannot wait for those nails dolls or because they're just so pretty. I know they're like kind of cheaper looking than the other um OMGs, but it's because they have that big gimmick. I'm not that worried about it. But I love that new character. Still not sure what her name is. I think it was on the back of the box, but I don't remember it. And then Kitty K and Candylicious both both looked really cute. And I'm glad we get to see them again at all, I guess. <laughs> uh and then of course they had the well the Hello Kitty stuff was so cool and I'm so so excited about it. And those distributors had Nana stuff out. So go Nana no. Welcome back. Um, moving on, there was a booth with some Famosa stuff, uh, which is, I guess, Joki Preciosi, or were they both together? I don't know. Famosa stuff is cute, I guess, but it doesn't really appeal to me that much. I thought the different colored hair stuff was beautiful, but the complete lack of diversity or anything going on just kind of bored me. But I know Joki Preciosi, like, can do better. They've had lines that do better that aren't, like, 
um, licensed or something. So um, that was just exciting and I wanted to show it because it's Joki Preciosi. So in theory, they could bring over other Joki Preciosi products like the Unique Eyes dolls. I don't even remember what all the characters in that lineup look like. They, they might not have any diversity either, but at least those have a cool gimmick. I don't know. So there is a company that can bring Joki Preciosi stuff over and that was 5k LTD, I think. Um, I don't, I'll show it in the video. All right, next we had our big Little's Pet Shop, My Little Pony, and Care Bears adventure. So it was supposed to be the Little's Pet Shop launch party. I was really excited because I thought they were going to have something for us to show. They had one Little's Pet Shop we were allowed to show and then a secret anteater that was shown behind us in the chair. The I cannot stress to you how excited I am. Unfortunately, part of it leaked and the reason I'm, I'm also a collector. Obviously, I'm mainly a collector. I just also make content. Um, so we were sworn to secrecy about what was in there, right? And what was in there were the pets and stuff, but there was lots of info on the walls that were strictly for buyers to see. They were like sales numbers and stuff. We're not supposed to see those. And other companies especially are not supposed to see those. Like it's whatever if I see it, right? But if other companies see that, that's really bad because that really hurts basic fun. And I wanna see basic fun succeed. I really like all the stuff that they do. So one photo leaked. I don't know who leaked it. It seemed like somebody said my manager sent this to me. So I'm thinking a buyer leaked it, which sucks because it's just gonna be assumed it was an influencer that did that. So one wall of the littlest pet shops leaked if you see it you see it it was on reddit i don't know if they're trying to take it down or what um but you could see like sales stuff on there it was really bad but that wall didn't really have a lot going on on it actually there was a whole nother wall that had like way more going on that thankfully did not leak um and then there's also the roblox area we don't um you weren't supposed to show the roblox stuff either but someone uploaded like an actual video of that area with the game showing and a bunch of sales number stuff on the wall it just and that one was an influencer it's just you have to ask before you film in there. You have to ask. So that was unfortunate because the reason I say that is because as somebody who is a collector, of course, I love to see leaks, but these companies are not going to do fun things like little launch parties that are sneak peeks and they're not going to continue to bring this stuff to Toy Fair and stuff if it leaks because, wow, this is a huge liability. We can't trust anyone. Even the buyers are leaking stuff. Like, So it's fun to see leaks, but especially it would have been fine if it was a close-up of the pets but it was showing like sales stuff so it really sucks and that's gonna hurt future uh things like this so it really sucks when bad apples and stinkers do do stuff like that like it would be one thing to take your little sneak shot and keep it for you but to actually post it when you can see proprietary information that cannot be like out there it sucks and it really just it just really sucks so again as a collector excited to see it but as well I saw them but even if I hadn't seen them I would have been very excited to see it but as somebody who's like knows these people it's like horrifying to me um and those, those things were behind closed doors they were like very behind closed doors they were only letting certain people in so they're just going to assume it was one of us that were let in and not one of the buyers or something or it was an influencer that leaked it I have no idea just really sucks makes us all look bad Anyway, I will say, I can't say a whole lot about the Littles Pet Shops, but I'm a big Littles Pet Shop collector. If you don't know, I have like 600 of them in the other room. I don't show that room that much, but if you've seen my uh, doll room updates, you've seen them. So what I can say about the Littles Pet Shops is any species that you love from the original Littles Pet Shops, they're there. Even like late in the line ones, like around the time the glitter pets were coming out, when there were all these weird ones coming out. And I don't mean, I mean like the original Littles Pet Shops that everybody likes from Hasbro, not the Hub Show. So everything from before the Hub Show... I guess, sorry, I'm doing it backward, but everything from before the hub show, they're doing. And they have the same spirit as the original pets. They even have some of the eye gimmicks as the original pets. I can talk about this because they showed it. They sent me a picture of myself that had like the cuddliest and stuff. They're bringing that back. Not for all of them, but some of them have like the cuddliest and messiest and stuff. Those eye shine shapes that they had, which I'm very excited about. Not all of them, but some of them. And there's several different ways you can buy the pets. I don't know how into detail I could get with this, but there's going to be some that are blind packaged, some that are not blind packaged, big sets. And there's going to be really, really, really fancy ones. We saw some that have like really advanced deco, so different paint, and then they also have glitter and stuff. Um, and the colors of, I would say, around the time of the cuddliest pets are what you're going to expect, like the way the paint is applied and everything. They feel exactly like the original Little's Pet Shops, like exactly like them. They feel awesome. I mean, the originals as in the original Hasbro, not the Kenner ones. Kenner ones are like a completely different thing. They're totally separated in my mind and I guess everybody else's minds too. So the original Hasbro Little's Pet Shops, that is exactly what they are. There's two new like body sculpt species that we saw. One of them is included on a gift box that I was given to show. So um, there you go. We saw the real ones for these. They're there were two different ones I think I saw back there. And then there's another sculpt 
not in sworn to secrecy, but it is very, very exciting. It's really cool. And while we're here, let's go through what Basic Fun gave out. So we've got a light bright. Um, I have two of some things because Brett also got one of these boxes. So um, we have these really cute light brights and we got to see all the light bright stuff. There have some really exciting licenses and really cool stuff coming from light bright. Uh, we also got some, sorry, I have some stuff from other companies in here because I was just putting them here for this video. Um, we've got Mashems. So I got a My Little Pony one. I got a Frozen one. I didn't film the Mashems wall. There were a lot of prototypes up there, which was pretty cool. Uh, I think they said we couldn't film that area because there were um, things subject to licensor approval there. So they don't want to show that. Uh, Lil Besties Care Bears, which were super exciting. You saw those in the video. We've got the My Little Pony Mystery Minis, or yeah, mini mystery mini ponies. I really can't wait to find these in stores. I'm very excited. Um, and then we had some Bluey Mashems. We've got our Lil Besties Care Bears again. And then these are what I wanted to show you. These are the bonuses for coming to the Little Spec Shop launch party. And we already opened them because we needed to put some stuff in here to protect it, such as our Axolotl sticker which that's why I think like we weren't supposed to talk about anything in there, but they handed me things that were clearly supposed to be shown in videos. So I don't know. Um, and then you've got this little group shot. These are all the ones that were shown on their social media already, I believe. So you've got the Corgi, the Panda, the Poodle, the Flamingo, and the Caterpillar. And you can really see here, like that Corgi is a later sculpt. So the breadth of pets you're seeing here, you're going to see. Also the pixelation in the eyes, just so you know, you can't even tell in person. And I'm not just being like that. Um, I'm not just like boot licking them or anything like if it was pretty bad I would tell you like in those Instagram photos it looked horrible but the pets have gloss over the eyes just like the originals so you can't really see that pixelation clearly they're using UV printing which is where that pixelation comes from you can tell if you look closely but it's really not obvious I don't know who made the final decision to post those photos they look really bad on Instagram but for me personally you know I'm not super picky but I couldn't really tell I actually walked in and I was like oh my god these aren't pixelated at all what's going on? Why did y'all post those on Instagram? But then um, Dean and Brett were like, no, look closer. And there you go. Uh, we also got a pin. I was really excited about these pins because I saw them on the little reveal boxes. We got to reveal a goat. It was an old sculpt. I think they didn't know because they kept telling me like, oh, the anteater and the goat are new sculpts. And I was like, I don't think that they are, especially the anteater. I know that's not, but the goat, I don't think it is. And it, it isn't. Um, but that's why I was kind of confused. I was like, I don't want to say you're wrong, but I think you might be. Um, but anyway, we've got the panda and the Little's Pet Shop logo with the panda. And it's just a new panda. I did see some uh, reproductions. Oh, that's another thing. I thought that these were all gonna be reproductions like across the board, but they're not. You've got some reproductions of either popular pets or just really cute designs. So I saw one, I'm not gonna say what it was, but it's from a set that I had as a kid that I loved and they're really unique and cool pets. There were reproductions of those or one of those that I saw. Um, <clears throat> Um, and then there was also completely new designs and I'm not just saying because there's new sculpts I'm saying literally like they would take an old sculpt and just completely redo the colors So you get a little bit of both and I really like that and I saw one Reproduced pet that I know everyone's gonna freak out over like that's gonna be a really really popular one I saw a few um, And everyone has asked me about big five and like yeah, of course they're gonna do big fives. Of course they are. Yes uh, anyway Any fan of the originals even if you're like a newer fan of the originals you'll be satisfied. Like these are truly like amazing. Here's some of those touch up stickers we also got. Got another bag. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Oh, My Little Pony, we saw the softies and the Care Bears. I saw a bunch of new stuff, including a new licensed thing. I recommend, they said it was top secret. I'm not gonna spoil that, but if you watch other vloggers videos, I guarantee it'll be shown even just out of the corner of like the camera shot because they were just sitting out where you could easily see them from outside. Everything top secret was behind closed doors except this. I'm pretty sure some vlogger is going to accidentally capture it, um, but they had a really, really cool new thing for Care Bears that was just sitting out. I didn't film it. I'm not going to, but just saying someone's probably accidentally leaked it already. Um, okay, next we went to the screening for Unicorn Academy. Oh my God. So I was really excited because I thought at the end of this, we were going to see at least a sneak peek of the new toy line. We didn't. It was weird, by the way. I don't know how many of these screenings they did, but it was me, Dean, uh, Brett, and then of course my friend Renee, who um, is... Kita Ray. Um, this was really cool, actually, because I shop from her shop all the time. Kita Ray won sales all the time. And we got to meet. We were supposed to go thrifting, but unfortunately, we meet, like we were all dead. And by the end of day one, I had covered almost nothing at Toy Fair. And by the end of day two, the same thing happened. And we were supposed to meet up on Monday and go thrifting. And I was going to leave Toy Fair early, but I was like, I'm so sorry, I can't. So we're going to do it next time, which I'm so sad that I had to miss out on that. I'm so bummed about it. But 
they lived a little too far away so if i had left toy fair even at like two i wouldn't have gotten to them until like four so it wouldn't have worked unfortunately um but i got to spend a big part of the day with them and i mean i got them into the unicorn academy screening and the basic fun little pet shop stuff which was cool um and they were so awesome i'm saying they because uh kita ray and um her friend came and then also we got to meet a bunch of other people who i'll tell you about in other uh parts of this vlog adventure series um including that dolly hair the doll hair company that's infamous actually has a totally new owner that's completely disconnected from the old company so that's really cool um i didn't even know that i just learned that at toy fair and i was like oh my god thank goodness and she actually didn't know about all the crazy stuff i was telling her and she was like so that's why i keep getting comments like that um the, the company was basically handed to her because of a situation but i'm not going to get into that sort of stuff but just it's a completely different owner so that was kind of cool or that was very cool that was very good to know because i know people are still shopping on that site and i was very like opposed to people supporting that situation but it's not like that anymore okay so we went to unicorn academy the show was so good we saw 30 minutes of it that's probably what they showed on roblox so people have probably already seen it but it was so good although i will say watching it i was sitting there like oh wow it was all like everything that happened it was like that it's like oh girls will love this like they'll show like gemstones that get assigned to you automatically that determine your like dorm room and the unicorns the way that the unicorns are chosen and the there were like these fairy things like everything was so girl core so i was laughing the whole time like internally i was like girl core um everyone else in that room i saw people from like news stations there was one other press person in front of us that i think he did action figure stuff it was all news like corporate suit people i don't really know what was going on with that like because i was invited by spin master to go to that so i don't really know it was kind of weird um but the show was awesome we did get a goodie bag after i don't think i actually brought it in here to show you i might have well the only exclusive thing that we got that wasn't a food item were these pens which are pretty cool but as you can see everything else doesn't say unicorn academy on it but i'm very very grateful and they didn't end up showing the dolls but they said I found one person in the booth who knew what they looked like and knew what I was talking about, and they were like, oh my god, they're amazing, y'all aren't ready. Of course, they work for the company, so I don't know how <laughs> uh, reliable that is, but you know, that's exciting to hear. Um, there's Unicorn Academy Cookie. There were two designs that I saw, and I ate one of them. It was delicious. Here's the other one. Sorry, I ate the other one. I thought they would all be the same. Uh, we also got a tech deck and Hatchmo's Alive, and I have this like catalog thing it doesn't really have anything that you guys would want to see in it but we'll be scanning it for doll act probably at some point but um the hatchimals sets were really awesome they are out now and i really loved the gimmick where they push themselves out the top like the, the eggs hatch themselves it was really cool you saw that in the video um and i asked about pixie riders and they said the pixie riders were still on shelves so i need to look closely because the hatchimals are in a space that i don't normally really look at so <laughs> my bad also those i forgot what they were called but the the little virtual pets were really really cool okay after that we went to see just play um we were <laughs> i had an appointment i wasn't expecting it to be an appointment to watch the almost slide and go through like a the booth with a bunch of other people like a lot of other people so once the almost slide was over and we were allowed to go in i just beelined straight for style bay because i was like I just want to see Style Bay. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Um, so I got to see Style Bay. I got to do that AR thing, which was super... Uh, <laughs> um, but it was very, very cute. And I got to see the dolls, which was really fun. I only have two of them. Haven't posted the video yet, but you'll see it soon. I really love Style Bay. I know they're not for everyone, but I think it's so cool that they're not just fashion dolls. And I guess you guys know that I really like weird dolls. Like, Lala Loopsie Girls are one of my favorite doll lines of all time. And they're very much unlike other dolls. So I love that Style Bay takes the things that are the most popular with fashion dolls which is changing the clothes and brushing the hair and brings that to a paper doll which i think is really important for people with motors like fine motor skill issues and which can like children or adults um and also like with dexterity issues that come from certain things um and also like it's just fun like the paper clothing is or not paper they're like stickers that you can reattach and stuff it's just so nice and i love that some of them had fabric on them i thought that was genius and i i won't talk about this until sunday but i got to go to a dinner with their team which was so amazing i won't really talk about the dinner because um we didn't really talk about toys that much we did a little bit um it was mostly just hanging out which was pretty cool um so yeah okay 
after that we left toy fair a little early so i think toy fair ends at six i just assumed it ended at four so that was my bad <laughs> um but i left around three to go to the meetup that i told you guys about earlier so the meetup was so incredible so much fun uh the blix tsunami showed up i don't know if the other people that were there would feel comfortable with me saying we did post them on social media and they posted about it and they all said they were comfortable being in photos but i think a youtube video especially this one is a little different so I did put photos of our dolls in there but a bunch of people showed up I think it was like 12 people and it was so much fun it was really cool to just sit and hang out we ended up meeting at the oculus which I didn't know what that was it's the world trade center I think there's like a mall or something we met there and then we moved to another building that had like stairs we all sat on I don't know what that was even called but that's where we took that photo so if you recognize those marble stairs that's where we were uh it was amazing we literally just sat and talked about dolls and things for hours and then we all went out to eat to this super expensive place called italy where my water was like this big and cost three dollars is italian water we were calling it gucci water <laughs> um but it was so much fun it was so cool uh we just talked about dolls and stuff and that was one of the coolest things I've ever gotten to do. And I was so exhausted by the end of like just Toy Fair that I was like, I don't know if I can do this, but I went and I'm so, so glad that I did. I mean, I wouldn't have not gone, but the the thing was when I got there on, on uh, Thursday and, or Friday, I got there on Friday. When I got there on Friday and the <laughs> rain situation was happening, I was like, guys, I don't know what to do. If any of you guys know anywhere indoors we could do, then like, please say it. And because I had planned everything at first, I just kind of asked for input from people in New York, like what would work the best for them. Um, but then they totally took over planning. So on Saturday, which was the day of Toy Fair day one, at some point during the day, I checked my phone, they had picked a spot, they had picked a time, and that's what I showed up to. So I'm really, really grateful that they took charge because I was so, I had meticulously planned everything with Toy Fair, like every detail. So when all of that went down and went wrong, I was like, I shut down a little bit and I was like, I can't do this. So I'm just really grateful that they took the initiative and um, planned all of that in my stead. I'm kind of embarrassed that I kind of made them do that, but I'm really grateful that they did it. So thank you. You know who you are. Uh, that was really cool. And I'm so glad that I got to meet you guys after all. Um, and that was the end of day one. I got home at like midnight, probably. Uh, I don't remember exactly when I got home. I think, did I post a video on Saturday? I don't think I did. I think I was dead. I think I died. Uh, when I got back, I was, I couldn't stop shaking. I don't know, like I couldn't fall asleep because I was just shaking. I had a horror, I decided to put my hair in a high ponytail, which is a big mistake. I always get horrific headaches when I put my hair up, but I thought it looked cute, so I did it. And then also like I, my throat was hurting, like everything was going wrong. Um, but I woke up the second day, thank God, I felt so much better because I was legitimately shaking like when I was trying to fall asleep. I don't know, but that's the end of Toy Fair day one. Stay tuned because Day two was also super awesome, and days three and four have a bunch of really cool stuff as well. I got to see a bunch of really, really cool people. I got to meet a bunch of really cool people, and I got to see a bunch of really cool products every single day of Toy Fair, and it was an experience that I will never forget. And I know this is super long, and I could have probably included almost an entire other day of Toy Fair in this, but I just wanted to make sure to talk through what happened. I know you guys like to see the talking bits too, so uh, let me know if you like this format. If you don't like this format, stay tuned because there's going to be a whole ridiculously long video of everything that went down at Toy Fair. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching.